there you go. That's pretty much what you have to do to make that little text. That's how I made the 35ZG for a subponent. Get wrecked. Subscribe in the box. I just put this on one. Now I'm going to teach you how to make this little slide thing. Which, honestly, you can find on any tutorial, but whatever. So you're going to want to take your pen tool. Click here. What you're going to want to do is hold... Uh, actually, first make a new layer. Hold down Alt and Shift. And then make that rise up. What it pretty much does is perfectly straight line and you can either go forward back up down obviously and then vertical but it'll only go vertical a bit so you're just gonna wanna make that so let's just fill this in fill path black honestly it doesn't really matter what color and then we're gonna wanna make another layer I'm just gonna do a simple one let's make that then do that. And then let's just make this look like it's going off. Fill path. Let's make it gray so it's a different color. Delete that little uh, line thing. Hit that over here. Actually, this one looks pretty bad. Let me redo it. Nope. Ah, what's wrong with me? I'm not sure why I did that. I'm trying to get it to go vertical. And as you can see, I'm failing. I'm pretty sure I went over 15 minutes by now. So that sucks. I'll edit this out to where I actually need it. Or this video might not be uploaded at all. I don't know. I'm like that sometimes. I make a whole bunch of good videos, but I don't upload them. So that's pretty much all you need to do. This video is at 16 minutes right now. So I'm just going to teach you how to do this. Obviously going to be part part 2, part 1 type thing. And hopefully soon I can get that strike removed off my channel. For that stupid reason. And then I can actually upload videos more than 15 minutes. Because they gave me that and then they took down that video. So one of my videos and then they stupid copyright thing. Anyway, you're gonna wanna make a drop shadow so you can tell it's like over that. Then you go to Belfon Emboss. Uh, normally, it depends on how you do it. It looks really bad sometimes. So you're, what you're gonna wanna do is first turn off global lights, and you're gonna want to turn def pretty high, net pretty high, and also what I do is I change this around to make it look cooler. It depends on what you want. Uh, screen, normal. Actually, let's turn that down. Let's put that back on screen. I'm thinking of the wire and bolts thing that I tutorial I saw. Well, anyway, you're just gonna wanna mess with the global thing, the global uh, light, the angle, and it, for some reason this is looking really, really, really bad. <laughs> It's not supposed to. Let me turn the depth all the way down, size pretty down as much. There we go. That's what you're supposed to make it look like. Uh, I'm gonna turn the soften up so it looks a bit more smoother. Almost all the way up. Color overlay. Just so you have your color. Let's make this like a ice blue type thing. Then put on overlay so it. Oh no, never mind. Put it on regular. Oh, uh, you can add your stroke if you want. Uh, I'll just do it for whatever. That's pretty much all you need. We're going to copy layer style, paste that onto here, and that's how that looks. I'm just going to change the color like I, I believe I did with this one. It's a bit lighter. So let's just make this one a bit lighter. And last but not least, I'm going to teach you how to make that little edge thing right in there which is probably the most simplest thing in the world actually so let's just move that up put that above there but yeah I think that should be above all the things just go to where you made this little slant here make sure you have alt shift again make a little square like thing like this fill path 50% gray honestly it doesn't matter I'm not sure why it's crooked like that so let me just redo it honestly it's a pretty simple task, not that hard. 
I mean, I don't know why you, why you would have trouble doing this. If you're new to Photoshop, I guess I could understand. Honestly, it's pretty simple, and it makes your videos look a bit more professional. Photoshop, I'm just going to leave like that because it is indeed a tutorial, as I said a while ago. I'm going to add a stroke, stroke one. I'm going to add an inner shadow. That's pretty much the whole point of this. Add an inner shadow, normal. Put the choke up and the size up, so it looks like it's like cut into it, which looks pretty awesome. So you can add the bevel emboss. Actually, don't add it because it'll make it look like it's popping out. Then add overlay or whatever, whatever you want. Uh, I'll make this a bit of a lighter but medium sized green. And then, and then that little like glossy effect thing that looks pretty bad actually. Uh, it's pretty simple. Just go like this. Cover that over there. Make a clipping mask. That's how I do this. Turn this into white. Get your bucket paint tool, whatever. And there you go. That That's it. That's pretty much it. Obviously you're like, oh no, that's not it. And I'm right. No, I'm just kidding. Go to about 25% and it'll give that little glossy effect. That'll make it a lot cooler. And uh, that's pretty much the video, guys. I mean, I hit 21 minutes, so I'm obviously going to have to make this into two parts. I'm not going to have be able to edit this all in one thing. So, uh, also, let me just... That's pretty much it. Add your name up here, whatever. Logo, whatever. <laughs> line it up. Catchphrase, whatever you want, guys. So, line it up, line it up. Hey. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how to make a logo. And maybe next episode, I'll t honestly, the icons are pretty simple. Just, uh, yeah, that's probably the last part of this little tutorial thing. I'm probably on already on part two, which I'm probably going to have like a little cut where my voice just sound says whatever. So I'm going to show you how to make a logo. Uh, I'm not going to, I'll give you a link to the DreamWorld pictures in, uh, in the description. Where I found them, there's multiple places to find them. This, this place, uh, whatever. So what you're gonna want to do is get one of your uh, boxes, duplicate them, put them on the bottom layer. Honestly, it doesn't matter where you put it. But what I do is I like, pull this up, so it like lifts up. Put this on the other part of this, and then move that around. And then that's pretty much a box. Some reason, some oh here we go. That's pretty much a box. What you're gonna want to do with it? Get whatever Pokemon. I'm just gonna pick Charizard because that's what I grabbed. Take this, shrink it down a bit. Make sure you hold down Shift so it scales correctly. Place, then create a clipping mask, which pretty much just mask it out. Uh, for some reason, I cannot our right, area, and I'm stupid because. Actually, don't create a clipping mask yet. I'm stupid. What you're going to want to do is duplicate this again. Hold cop, uh, hold these things down. Hold shift and click both of them or control or whatever. Merge layers so you get rid of the effect. Now create a clipping mask. And now just move it over here. And there you have it. That's how, you, how I make my icons with my layout. It's honestly pretty simple. You can obviously do it if you want to. You can add a stroke, whatever, add more effects to it if you want to. And that's pretty much how I make my layout, guys. Uh, I hope you like this. And uh, maybe I might use this layout also with my black one. I mean, I should have just, like, changed the hue and color, but whatever, guys. So, uh, 35JT signing off. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, if you have any other questions or want me to make any more tutorials on Photoshop, Cinema 4D, all these good stuff, how to make intros, how to how to do whatever, or just questions, plain old questions, want to battle me, just contact me on my Skype, CatKid6, I'm cool like that, or just PM me if you don't have Skype, so that's pretty much it guys, like this video, subscribe, uh, 35JT signing off, peace.